Hey, Anna, it's uh, you're up. Come here. Hey. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Just want to let you know real quick that this video is brought to you by Simply Safe Honor. <laughs> You see this mess? All these chemicals left over and the totes that we ordered in and stuff we got going on here and the shelving I'm moving around and the mailbox that got broke off and the concrete bucket didn't hold it up in the wind so we just got rid of it. I'm gonna fix all this. Yesterday I ordered some heavy duty shelving and it's already gonna be here in less than 24 hours so I'm gonna unload that truck that's on its way. We're gonna get some stuff fixed. That's one way to unload it. Sliding. Look at that. We even got ourselves a shiny new pallet jack. I figured this would come in pretty handy when I'm trying to move stuff around the shop and it's in tight quarters, because that thing, as handy as it is, it gets a little narrow in here when, when things are busy. Now my plan for all of this is to bring it back there along the back wall kind of next to where the sprayer is sitting. So I'll have to clean some of this up first. By the way, there's a, uh, an extension for a S700 series combine. If anybody's interested, that one's for sale. Nothing wrong with it. This shouldn't, this shouldn't take much. And then after I've got that picked up, I can put the shelves in place and then I can go through and start stacking pallets. So that hopefully all of this stuff can be piled up on those shelves and out of the middle of everything and then Onyx's hockey net's gotta go somewhere. And his deer. I've got a plan for that too. With all that snow coming tomorrow, I'm not gonna wanna have to open and shut these doors all the time. So I'm gonna get some of the smaller stuff out of there so that I've got more room to work. We'll put it in the cold shed over here. I hate to do it. I hate leaving anything in the cold when it gets as cold as it does here, but right now it's like 25 degrees and awesome, but we know it'll get below zero again at some point for a while, I'm sure. Hopefully not, maybe, probably. And I'm gonna move the sprayer over just a little tighter to the camper so I got more room to work over there. And I don't know what it is with this four-wheeler, but it usually doesn't start unless you twist on a battery cable. Yeah, see, it's got juice. It just, uh, I don't know. I'll have to look at it sometime when I'm not making YouTube videos and building shelves. Just a connection issue somewhere. Sometimes impact technology. Hmm. Well, I lost motivation quickly on that. I've decided to leave the sprayer and the four-wheeler where they both are and I'll just work around it. I can move it over like a foot even with the four-wheeler sitting there, so I'm gonna do it now instead of when there's a blizzard. Pretty important phone calls that I gotta go in the house for. Right in the middle of my project, just as it was getting fun. I get so sick of phone calls. But there is a pretty significant management side of you know, running a farm, any farm, any size. You've gotta spend a lot of time in the office just like you do out in the shop or in the fields or in the yard moving snow. I don't talk about it a whole lot because I don't feel like I'm real good at it and I can't make it entertaining and I want to make sure you guys are entertained or else you may not come back and that would, that would be sad. Right, Anna? That's right. All right, so th those are some really long phone calls and then I got distracted and now it's 6.30 in the morning and I got a place to go. I am gonna end up with a lot of snow to move again. The snow just got here uh, hour and a half ago. I would guess we've had an inch, but it's coming with a lot of east wind at the moment, so things are already drifting up. I'm sure you guys are asking yourselves, oh gee, Zach, where the heck you headed, bud? 
Actually, I'm going over to a specific muffler shop here to have a cat back exhaust put on the truck. We're gonna hopefully decrease some of the back pressure on it and increase fuel mileage a little bit and hopefully give it more power just for specifically for pulling the race car trailer. Looks like this is the place. They look like they must farm too. Farms muffler shop. Hey, I was just gonna ask if you guys do exhaust tunes here. Yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> got the trailer pulled in over the pit. They're gonna really enjoy working on your snow covered pickup, I bet. I drove slow, so there shouldn't be anything underneath it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Is the mud as bad as you did? Not nearly as bad as you know. Got more more than less, I guess. Yeah, that's about three three inch. So it has to pressure up this chamber, right? And then it pushes it back to this two and a half inch hole. So it blows in, pressures up, pushes it all back through this tube, pressures up, goes back out, and then it's actually got to build pressure to open the valve. Luckily it won't be dripping on you underneath there at all. Now, I was looking at your website and it said this doesn't void the warranty. Is that right? Yeah, we do them right off the dealership floors. There you go. Perfect, hard part. I think it looks good. <laughs> See, you weld exhaust differently though. When I do it, I just burn holes through it. No, you know what the secret is? Years of experience? No. You gotta be the weld. You gotta be the weld. Start on top, and then just watch your arc, and then just pull it towards you. And then when you get back to the top, spot it, and then you come around on the other side, you can see where you're right, where you left off. Do the same thing. Yep. Sounds easy. Yeah, it is. So then what, what did you put for mufflers back here? These are Dynamax Super Turbos. These have been out forever. Twin mufflers, yep. obviously. Two individuals. Yep. Back in the day, like in the early mid 90s, they came out with the muffler, it was dual in, dual out, had an X built in it, they were a real trick. They didn't work. It needs to have two individual mufflers in order to keep the exhaust balance. And this will hopefully add some mid-range horsepower you were saying to yep, the truck. Yeah, we're gonna lose a little snap off the stoplight but we're trying to get it up in that two to 3,000 RPM range. From the factory, I'm sure you gassed it up. Yep. And it gets to about four grand and it kind of quits pulling. Yep. And it just kind of makes noise and makes some noise, gets to six and then it shifts and pulls again, right? Yep. We're gonna make this pull all the way up to the red line now. Okay, yeah. So the idea on the gas mileage is, well now that we don't have all this back pressure, you don't push on the throttle as hard and it picks up mileage. Okay. But there's a flip side of that. Now that the thing runs good, for about the first 30 days, you're gonna hot rod it, go out, it runs really good, you know, you're probably gonna lose a little mileage. I would never do that. You wouldn't? No. For people that are interested, where are you out of? How do they get a hold of you? And how Just do they look website, at what you've got? You can order kits, and they're a professional grade kit. They're all welded. MPI Exhaust, which stands for Mike's Pipes, Inc. MPIExhaust.com. They can order the kit right on there. Yep. You guys nervous back there? A little. Will it start? It better. Oh yeah, I like that. That's just right. Now it's not like too loud, but it sounds like a truck. Yeah. See you guys, thank you. You bet, see you later. That's a heck of a muffler shop right there. That guy looked familiar too. In all seriousness, I gotta say thanks to the Larson family for letting us use their shop. Check out Larson Farms on YouTube and uh, Mike and Kinzer at MPI Exhaust. We'll, we'll link that down below. I'm gonna test this thing out now, see how much snort we got, but I might have to I might have to drive carefully because I, I can't see anything and I'm clearly going to need four-wheel drive. Well, after a quick lunch meeting with FBN Todd, the kids wanted to be dropped off here. And who am I to tell them, no, there's no school today and it's better than playing video games.
unfortunately I got things that I want to do rather than be here so we'll just leave them here and it'll it'll kind of act like a babysitter I went and got a haircut too while I was at it It's definitely done snowing now, so sun is out. I may as well get a little bit of this move. I need to get out of here. Go somewhere nicer like, I don't know, Las Vegas? Works every time. I think I better get out of here and go back home. Well, that was a fun, quick trip out to Vegas, but I'm back now. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, how on earth do we make sure that the place is safe and secure when you're gone? That answer's easy. With Simply Safe, once a month, I let you guys know about our home security system that we installed. And it's not just a system of security against things like theft. They've got motion sensors, glass break sensors, smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarms, water sensors, temp sensors, indoor cameras. They've got a new outdoor security camera that you can log into right on my phone on the Simply Safe app and I can see exactly what's going on in my front yard, my backyard. The whole system actually only took me about 30 or 40 minutes to set it all up myself and now we've got a 24-7 professional monitoring service that will dispatch the police, the fire department, whatever we need if something goes wrong. I'm trying to find an insurance card here. And that's all for less than a dollar a day with no long-term contracts. I gotta run to town and get a bunch of stuff before I get back here and move snow. That one. Anna, you gotta come out of there. Come on. Right now, you guys can save 20% on your own Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month all for free. All you gotta do is visit simplysafe.com backslash millennial farmer to learn more. Anna, it's not polite to chew on your leg while you're doing the read. Gee, sorry. That's always fun. First stop, we're going to the post office. Gonna go see if there's anything in the Millennial Farmers P.O. box. Plus, my mailbox got mowed over for the second time in like the last three months. This time, it got sheared off right at the ground. Just sheared it off clean and the ground is froze. Well, it's gotta be three feet deep by now, so that's gonna wait until spring. Just standard mail, nothing fun and the bank drive through I always thought that was so cool as a kid. A little window shopping. And I need a little bit of diesel. Not because we're out, but because I think we got a filter issue on the barrel. I don't know if it's a filter issue or if it's froze up. We put a 70-30 blend in there before fall, so it should be fine, but we're having issues with it. So, I grabbed 10 gallons here, and I'll just manually put it in the snow blower because I'm not gonna change filters today. And I fully intended to go to the license bureau to get uh, tabs for all three of our semis that we've gotta start hauling with. 
But I forgot the form 2290, which is a silly little form that's got the VIN numbers of the trucks on it. And to tell you the truth, I don't really know why they need it, but they do. And it's sitting at home on my desk right where I put it to make sure I wouldn't forget it when I drove to town to get the tabs. Yeah, it's a pain in the neck, but what do you do? Before we get started with that, check out what I did back here. Now ignore the mess over here. I'm gonna deal with that later, but I got one set of shelves up. I got some roundup totes along the bottom. We're gonna put some lighter stuff up on top because I don't wanna put full totes up there. And I got a whole second unit that's gonna go in this area right here. And then we're gonna clean up and organize these areas here where we've got random scattered pallets laid everywhere. We will organize stuff and make sure that we've got more of an open shop. And then in a few weeks, we can start bringing seed in here and basically fill half the shed with seed totes. The reason we've got so many totes around this winter is because we wanted to get as, me as much of chemical of, ke you know what I'm trying to say, right? We wanted to get as much on hand as we possibly could. There's been a lot of shortages with egg chemicals and so we're just trying to make sure we've got as much on hand. Plus, it kind of came out now that you should not leave Roundup outside and let it freeze. Apparently it doesn't like it when it's 10 below. We've always left Roundup outside in the other shed, but now we're being told we shouldn't do that. Always more snow to move this year. The last two years, I bought this new blower and this pusher, and I didn't hardly use them for two years. Now this year, it's like every three, four days, it seems like I got a decent amount of snow to move. But that's all right. snow like this is a lot cooler but it sure is a pain driving backwards all the time a lot more moving pieces catch it on camera but the dumpster hooked I was moving around with the snow pusher there it's easier than getting outside and trying to push it around in this snow but it's full and she hooked so I'm a little nervous how much garbage is gonna spill out the top when I try to flip it back over ah, Millennials you know well obviously it's just gonna slide if I keep pushing worst comes to worst might have to get a chain easy there we go that always takes much longer than I wish it did now this deal this should go with the shovels there's a hook for a plant that will never hang up I find it most effective to just take the junk that's piled up in certain areas and toss it to the side and then and then you can go through it later I don't even know what this is. This is actually a pallet of rye, so it's heavy. I'm gonna leave it down at the bottom, but I wanna pull it out so I can sweep under it. That's my cover crop seed inventory. It's been here a while. I've used some of it, obviously not all. Anyone know what to do with some odd shaped windows? 
Got some brand new, brand new but like 10 year old Marvin windows here. They ended up the wrong size and they didn't take them back. And we don't know what to do with them now, so we just keep moving them every couple of years. I kind of just wish somebody would accidentally run into them so they break and we could throw them away. One of those deals. Got five of them. Five more than we need. Oh no. I think he's dead. You need a drink, buddy? Seem a little dried out. It might be too late. Hang with me there, guys. Don't fall. Now this is definitely the part where OSHA would tell me I need at least two people. But I did this one with just one person and I'm pretty messed up, but I'm okay. Wish me luck, huh? I wanna be in the same one here, so. I'm not connecting the two together. So that's the reason for having this double tower here. Cause I'm gonna slide this over once I get this all put together. If I get it put together and can still walk. Let's see, is it that one? I think it's that one. Oh. Hey, look at that. Okay, now things get even trickier. This is so sketchy. You know, it's a sacrifice we make. Actually, it's locked into that side, so... I'll be alright here. It's gotta go up like that. I'm gonna guess this one. Now don't, uh, don't do what I'm doing at home. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm not a professional. Oh, don't go that way. Whew. I'm a notch too high. I'll put the back one on. And then this one will be easier to change after the back one holds it together. Thinking. All right, we're all clicked in here. Just slide it over to where I want it. I wanted that window to stay open. It's a lovely sound. I want enough room to put a pallet or a tote underneath here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be real nice. We've got a nice little area here between the shelf and this uh, roller drawer thing that we can pile a whole bunch of junk up in there. That'll be perfect. I dropped it. Ugh. These are much easier to carry with both hands, but I'm a YouTuber, so I'll do it with one for you guys. That looks pretty good. I got 12 spots to put more pallets and I got all the heaviest ones down on the bottom. I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to back that sprayer out and let it sit there for an hour while I shuffle pallets around because, well, because it's 15 below zero outside Fahrenheit and things are gonna freeze up fast on that and it's not, it's not winterized. So, so uh, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow because it's gonna be 25 and sunny without a lot of wind. And this little guy right here, this is my new best friend. This thing is handy. Just a few more items here to organize. Get the hockey net moved somewhere. Work on those. I guess we'll start with cleaning up the shipping containment mess that we've got here. saying that 
this pile of shipping materials is going to catch on fire, but it's going to. I think that looks like a nice spot. Works every time. Good grief, it's cold out here. You know what, I'm going to go grab some supper. It's about that time. And then I'm going to come back out here in 30, 40 minutes and keep tinkering on my project. Um, just a heads up guys, Randy, the master pipe layer and I are planning, we have it planned, we don't have it fully planned, we have flight tickets to go to Southern California uh, in 10 days or less here, and we are going to work our way up through the Central Valley, head to the Tulare, 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 I don't know how you say it, the egg show there for a day, continue working our way north and we're going to fly out of Sacramento six days later, so we're going to be on an awesome road trip. We got some fun stuff planned. I think we're gonna call it Zach and Randy do America for the uh, for the Millennials the older Millennials out there like me That's a play on Beavis and Butthead do America check it out uh, You can follow us on everything. We're gonna be on Instagram. We've both got TikTok and and Facebook and we're gonna be on here the uh, the YouTubes so follow us on everything. We're going to try and pump out as many videos as we possibly can. Make sure we're keeping in touch with all of you guys while we're out there. If anybody's out there and you got some suggestions for us on what to see. Man, my hands are getting cold. It is so cold out here. It doesn't even matter if it's not windy tonight. It's just that dang cold. But uh, good suggestions for us. We're going to work our way all the way through the Central Valley. We're staying away from the coast other than when we're flying in. So... Yeah, lots of content coming with that. It's going to be fun. Okay, thank you guys very much, honestly, sincerely, for watching. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm.